With their long, pouched bills, giant wingspans and ability to dive 60 feet from the air into water to catch fish, pelicans are among the most recognizable birds in California. So who could be harming them? First came the disturbing reports of brown pelicans found near marinas with straight slashes across their pouches, prompting an investigation late last year by the California Department of Fish and Wildlife and a $5,000 reward for tips. Now, officials are asking for the public's help again. Since October, a wildlife hospital in Huntington Beach has received 22 pelicans with severe wing fractures that broke through the skin. None have survived. The state's broadened investigation spans more than 100 miles of shoreline from Orange to Ventura counties, with not much to go on. At this point we don't have any suspects, we don't have witnesses, we don't have evidence other than the injured birds, said Captain Patrick Foy of Fish and Wildlife's Law Enforcement Division. If there is a person catching these pelicans and intentionally releasing them injured, how are they even catching them? And from there, what would be the motivation of a person that has injured the birds? The big brown birds were classified as federally endangered in 1970 but unlisted in 2009. Their recovery is credited largely to the ban of the pesticide DDT in 1972. There are an estimated 150,000 to 200,000 California brown pelicans, said Dan Anderson, a UC Davis professor emeritus and wildlife biologist. The only breeding colonies in California are within the Channel Islands National Park on Anachapa and Santa Barbara Islands, where the average annual number of nests between 2016 and 2020 was 6,001, 400, respectively, said Mike Parker, executive director of the California Institute of Environmental Studies. Though wildlife veterinarians often treat brown pelicans for injuries caused by human activity, fish hooks, boat propeller strikes, oil spills, California has a history of suspected intentional attacks on these seabirds, which are protected under the Federal Migratory Bird Treaty Act. In the early 1980s, almost two dozen pelicans were found with their beaks partly or completely hacked off in Dana Point Harbor. In 1992, authorities said they received about 30 reports of attacks on the birds, including a crucifixion in Newport Beach, where a boatman spotted a pelican hanging from a light pole. And in 2003, a reward for information grew to more than $15,000 after pelicans found mostly at Cabrillo Beach had been shot in the same area of the neck or had a bone in their wings snapped. Dr. Rebecca Dewar, Director of Research and Veterinary Science for International Bird Rescue, said that between September 2019 and April 2021, the organization's San Pedro facility had identified six pelicans with their pouches slashed. The birds came mostly from the Marina del Rey and Ventura Harbor areas. She said the type of injury indicated that it was deliberate.